All right. Let's. Thank you. My name is Jimmy. His name is Jake. And this is the Weekly Dumb. No frogs are with us today. Just the the bubble thing. James, Zach, everyone joining us for the Weekly Thumb today. Hello. Uh, how was your weekend? Buck. All right. I guess kind of was good. James, there was a big one this weekend. The Atlanta Braves hosted the New York Metropolitan Station for the NL East. And the Mets have had the NL East on lock for most of the years. These are the new Mets. Buck Showalter, Max Scherzer. These guys are studs. The Braves big brothered them in a way that only can happen to the New York Mets. Zach, I made this graphic that shows the Mets just in first place all year. The Braves dipping. Oh, going to catch them. Nope. Dip. Going to catch them. Nope. Uh, And then at the end, the Braves are in first place, and they had to face DeGrom, Scherzer, Bassett, who's had a good year. Bassett. The thing they do with the lights when the pitcher leaves to get lit up is real cool. Well, the chop, people have, you know, yeah. eh, but the lights, the you, lights just, are cool. you just got lit up. It's lit chop. And man, the difference between the division and the wild card is, is pretty huge when you have DeGrom and Scherzer. Do you want them available for the divisional series? Well, you're going to pitch them in the wild card now. Which I think still has a chance to flip the script because in playoffs, just stuff happens. So if you have Scherzer and DeGrom waiting... You win one of the early games, you'll be good. How about this? I can't see. And that's the base. That's the sports. Well. What's this breakdown you were telling me about? Oh, it's almost the breakdown. Vanish him. No, that just took an hour. <laughs> I don't want to vanish. You have to I don't vanish. vanish. It's good for the show. I'm gone. I'm not here. Almost a breakdown. This is a classic, a tale as old as time. A meteorologist drawing a dick on screen. But I got this guy's back. And balls. Well, he really added the balls. Florida by itself is a wiener. Phallic. Yeah, it's a very phallic state, one of the most phallic states. It's America's penis. And then he just says, you know, if you look at all these, there's a lot. And if you look at over here, there's a little. I understand, looks like balls and a penis. But I got his back. I think people that know the Weekly Dumb, Zach, would assume we'd... And only Zach. We'd shy away from this story because you can do this often. You see a lot of meteorologist wiener type stuff. But this guy's kind of in the clear. Like, he was... The storm was... Penal. The storm was penal. I like when Zach does the little words, and I'll do this. The storm was penal. Mm, you like a lot of things. I like Mizzen and Maine a lot. I look good. Whose Mizzen and Maine looks better on them? Now, I can't really wear that one because it matches my top too much. And we're green screening your whole body this episode. Is that true? <laughs> Just thought of a funny joke. Oh, oh, Zach thought, of a, Zach funny thought joke. of a funny joke on the sideline. Wow, first one of 2022. Mm. That's always there if you need it. Jake, can we get back to the sports? There's a big old story in the sports. Big old story in the sports. That big old story. In the Too sports. much booty in the pants. Zach, this one hit close to home for you. There is a cheating scandal that rocked the walleye tournament. You already probably heard about this. And actually, you might have, because this is bad, and I don't like that one of the guys' name is Jake, but Jake and Chase. Well, he does go by Jacob. Right, but when things got real, they start calling him Jake in the yeah, video. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. kind of like you're a bad guy. Yeah. Like Jacob's Bible, and like he brings stuff, he brings a loaf of bread when you have a baby. Jake cheats at fishing tournaments, and they're filling fish with lead. Yeah. I mean, this, I, I, I caught this early. It was, soon, it was early. four hours old, and I sent it to the we, the Weekly Dumb. I said, let's do this story. And then it went huge over the weekend because it's wild. So these guys have been cheating at been cheating. fishing for a while. The suspect, you suspect. They've won, they won 300 grand last I year. I knew it. So they finally, they weigh their fish. They said, those fish look old. Look like you caught them two tournaments ago or whatever. That's that They suspected them cheating. Don't try to do their smack. The commissioner cuts open the fish. We got weights and fish. <laughs> We got weights and fish. There we go. Which is electric. Yeah. And then that guy realizes he's kind of started a mob. So later on, he's like, all right, guys, let's take it easy. Jake, don't, you got to go, go anywhere. Uh, Be cool. They will have their day. But then he keeps cutting open the fish. Yeah. There's more weight in the fish. And there's fillets of fish inside the fish. That seems fucked up. Like in the social network, when they fed the chicken chicken. Are you going to stuff a fish well, with fish? Well, that seems like good cheating. 
Like, if you're going to cheat, it would be like, oh, let's stuff it with more fish. Stuff it with more fish. They put, like, big old muskets in there. Yeah, lead balls. Eight pounds among the five fish or something like that. I think they're going to get, like, arrested. Arrested or killed. Fraud. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with the fishing community. They know places others don't in the marshes. Let's get off Jake's cheating, and let's talk about the not sports. And, Jim, you're... Boy, Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X. He was on the microphone, but he wasn't on stage. Did you hear this story, Zach? And then he chimes in and he says, uh, guys, I'm on. I'm not on stage right now. I'm taking a mean shit. So it's going to be a minute or two and I'll be back. I'm taking a mean shit. And people are applauding his honesty. Yeah. Do you think he was really sitting on the toilet with the mic on? Yes. If I could, I would. Uh, but I'm not a little Nas X yet. I love that they took a quote from some fans on Twitter saying, he's so real for this. So you took one tweet of a person on Twitter that said he's being real for this. There might have been a couple people saying that. And uh, Zach, you like this. Big Zach app. Employee of the month. You know, Jim did double check before we did this story that this is the guy that does the horse hotel song. I'm gonna take my horse to the hotel room. I'm gonna fuck that horse. More That's, artists should shit. You wouldn't like that at this point. You don't think this looks good? Looks better than the employee of the week. My ugly brother, Luke. It's the employee, employee of the week. week. Don't boom, boom, boom. It's the employee the of the week. It's the oh. employee oh. nepotism. Paul! Oh! Have the beads explode everywhere. I <laughs> have to do that. <laughs> no, got vetoed. One by one, got green screen them. <laughs> My brother Luke took maybe the hardest nut shot in warehouse history. One of the more head-on dick and balls shot I've seen from 20 feet away. Your reaction is great. I hit him. Jake hit him. It's been uh, it's a good video from our warehouse games. A game we created, which got a lot of applause. So he gets employee of the week for that reason. That's me doing it. Whoa, do it again. Your your eyes are yeah, No, they were they were the same that time. Same. Yeah. The one time they went different. That was a weekly dumb. So you want the best damn dress shirts money can buy? Well, check out Mizzen and Maine. Right now, if you go to Mizzenandmain.com and use promo code DUMB, you'll receive $35 off any. Regular price order of $125 or more, plus free shipping on orders $100 and more, and free returns. That's $35 off when you go to M-I-Z-Z-E-N-A-N-D-M-A-I-N.com and use promo code DUMB. I was just thinking when you brought up that chart, we would have been pretty good at if we had gone the law route, tag team lawyers. When there's time to bring out exhibits, that's when we would bring the crowd down. It's all about exhibit exhibits. A. Except you and have we're to Southern lawyers. They have to like you have to get the exhibits passed or Well, whatever. exhibit B. Yeah. And then you have oh, exhibit C which has the most proof but you're not allowed to show it. The judge says, please erase that from your memory. And you know they don't actually erase Exhibit it. C is the perfect information for Exhibit D. And they're like, ah. Oh, it's a Photoshop of the Come guy. On. Photoshop of the guy holding the gun. They're like, that's <laughs> oh. Photoshop. They're like, oh, yeah, that was just a what if. What was if- Exhibit E a joke? Yes, it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, this the is what it would have looked laughing. like if he was holding the gun. It's a Photoshop. Yeah, we would be good at exhibits. We'd be good mock Lawyers. Bring in our exhibit guys, and you and I come in with an easel. That'd be a good TV show. I'd watch that. Mock lawyers? I think it was Bash and Nash. No, but like not a real law show, but like if there was a fake courtroom Mm -hmm. where you got to do silly stuff, like it was us versus Nikki Cass as like fake lawyers having to figure out a situation. Like that episode of Always Sunny. Whoever wins. It's debate class. Fun debate class on YouTube. Exhibits only. Exhibits only. Like I don't want to hear you talk in debate class. Oh my God. If you don't have visuals, I'm out. 